Okay, so what I want to show here is a, how to use a simple calculator to calculate compound interest over time. So we're going to start with a round number of $1,000. So the way you do this is you have to determine your interest rate first. So let's work with 3% interest since uh, everybody likes to say that uh, our inflation rate is around 2 or 3% all the time. So we'll start with 3%. So the way you do this is you start with 1%. 0.03 in your calculator. What that represents is the multiplication of the whole number plus the interest rate. So the whole number is the one on the left side of the decimal point, and the 03 represents 3% interest on the whole. Okay, so we'll do that times a thousand for round numbers, and we're going to do this 24 times, and I'll show you why we're going to do it 24 times here in a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it should be slightly over $2,000. reason I did that is the rule of 72. Rule of 72 says that whatever your interest rate is, uh, the number of multiples, you have to divide it into 72. So if it's 3%, you divide that into 72, you get 24. So I did 24 times. It suggests that that's what it'll take to double your money at that interest rate or double your cost at that interest rate, however you're measuring it. So $2,000, yeah, we started 1,000 with 2,032. It's not absolute, it's not perfect, but to get above and beyond your doubling, it takes 24 in that case. Um, so if the interest rate was 24%, then it would only take three iterations, 24 divided into 72. So there you go. This is going to be used. I'm going to reference this from other videos because we're going to talk about home valuations and how people get tricked out of their, uh, their value when they buy real estate. Okay. So thanks for listening. Have a great day.